Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. Bird Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Glad to have you with us. If this is your first time here. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, we hope you like it. Uh, tonight's going to be a wee bit on the different side. Uh, we will go ahead and get to the recap and all of that good stuff here in a minute. But first, let's uh, pay the piper. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap, like a phone case, this shirt, uh, sweatshirts, uh, toilet oh. covers, uh, rugs, shit like that. Uh, check out our website. It's down there near the bottom. It's the tiny URL.com slash RPG flag. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot this Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Uh, busy life, no can do. So my apologies if you were looking forward to that. We will show a good rerun, probably The Crying Jester. That was pretty fun. Uh, but if you want to join us on the talk show on Tuesdays or on the next one shot, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Uh, if your dice roll like crap, uh, hit up <laughs> at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter for some custom dice. Uh, yeah. Can you come help me? I have an issue. So, hey, everybody. <laughs> Having a little technical difficulty, I guess. Hey, Dave, keep talking. about that folks it's been that kind of a week uh don't forget if your game stinks unlike ours ours smells like success try some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com they make uh, over 60 of these including their special releases uh it's always a sweet treat unless you get putrid sewers which is a problem ask kyle they also make something called the shine system so if you want to write like me only gooder check out that and of course their kickstarter is now overdone uh finito success uh how to rpg with your cat will be available to everybody shortly Woo! okay that being said this is cacophony the former urban adventure these guys went off on their own uh handled problems in the tower of the curd handled weather problems in freckland uh, have been to the All Grand of our people Academy. ditching us. <laughs> All, everybody ditching, yeah. I mean, it, it's just weird. But these guys have traveled across the Western Basin Ocean to uh, the area called Nathan. Na no, Nate. 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 Yeah, Nate. Got it. I don't know why I named it. You created this. <laughs> Jesus, I just, I, I hate this, this word. Uh, it is the Gnomish capital. They are here to go ahead and find solutions to Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy's time travel dementia, uh, find a way to destroy an artifact in a box, and maybe even find a way to destroy the time traveling amulet that Mortimer J. Sneed uh used to go ahead and get his dementia now in the possession of these guys last week they arrived courtesy of their minotaur sea captain who got cut off by a bunch of monks and he is going to go deal with them we ended last week with these guys going to millie's place uh run by millie D's nuts uh strange because the head of the adventurers guild former head of the adventurers guild uh was Flamunda these nuts uh maybe they're related first stop let's introduce you to the uh people who are playing this game we'll start with david david who are you who do you play hi i'm david and tonight i'll be playing zadar uh you could also 
find me uh, most Tuesdays on Between the Rolls, and then I'm on their Saturday Calamity campaigns when our Saturdays roll around. So uh, for Campaign A, I am Ingbe, and for Campaign <coughs> B, I am Crow, the, the scout. So uh, other than that, you can catch me on a one-shot every once in a while, and uh, yeah, I'm usually here to make Frank's life hell or something like that i don't know what about is between me and kyle play. that's right yeah. yeah uh next up last but certainly not least our producer uh who is behind and in front of the camera tonight carrie who are you who are you playing i am carrie i play camille a wizard necromancer um usual dog wrangler as the stories that go on i usually have to let a dog out and on um calamity i play on the b side a very smart barbarian that keeps everyone in line with indoor plumbing uh how's our audio at least it's good okay so uh i'm a little out of sorts folks so i'm, I'm trying to push through this we'll see what we can do you guys have landed in uh see and i i even got it here Navian, Navian is how I'm Navian. pronouncing it. Navian. Okay. So when you see Sneed's guide to Navy, Navian, that's this. So you guys have landed. Uh, you've been directed by uh, what was his name? Uh, Zap Rig, a porter, to go over to Millie's place. It's a higher end establishment in the dock district, meaning that it probably has relatively clean sheets. As you mill about the town, you notice that most of them are Camille's size. The, this is a gnomish community. However, you see a wide and vast variety in the sea of humanity. Uh, you guys have not met many dwarves. Uh, there are a few here. Uh, what you do not see are Arakakra, uh, the bird people who are also supposed to reside in this part of the world, aka Andura. Uh, you don't see a lot of them, uh, but you see a lot of people milling about. Good news is most of the buildings here are accommodated for the talls, a.k.a. humans and elves and half-orcs. Uh, minotaurs are going to be eh, sketchy at best, uh, and you just sailed in with a crew of them. Uh, do you want to continue on to Millie's place? Do you want to... Uh, taste the local gentry what do you want to do mm, well i guess we should probably secure a lodging and maybe see if she knows our old guild master sure. yeah that sounds like a safe bet <laughs> uh, as you guys walk in there are several people walking out and they would appear to be some type of wizard from their robes and their discussion that you overhear Hello. what up brother <laughs> Fist me, bro. Fist me. Get up in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, th these wizards speak to you, uh, but not in a language you can understand. Mm. So their dialect would indicate that uh, you haven't met these people yet, so they're probably west. Uh, they look at you, though. They are cordial. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, everybody's French. <laughs> everybody's French here that's not speaking uh, common. Uh, you round the corner and you see a colorful sign indicating Millie's place. It appears to be carved in the shape of a woman with a large buttocks bending over wearing polka dot underwear. Wow. You know, the kind, the kind of things that you see along the United States roadways. Uh, but uh, the wizards seem to be not upper class but seem to be at least middle class patrons so uh, so far you're getting a good vibe in there uh, as you walk inside there is somebody in line ahead of you and uh, why am I rolling that die nobody cares but it's overcast I had a question where was the door located <laughs> the... just underneath the skirt oh my <laughs> So uh, there is a holy man, you can tell, because he has religious robes adorned in silver, uh, and he is explaining that he is a holy man and does not appreciate the service thus far. Uh, it is a human female, 
behind the table. Uh, gray hair, smiling, nodding her hair. Uh, the individual in front of you is quite irate about something. Uh, give me perception checks. Ooh. Uh, 21. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, with Zara, that's going to be high. So that is uh, 26. Uh, both of you understand that the patrons in the room next to him were fornicating all night long, and apparently the headboard caused him great distress. Uh, the proprietor... Yep, that's going to happen. Just continues to shake her head, not saying a word. Uh, the man continues to get more and more irate, and finally, I mean, you can tell, you know, just kind of looking over the side, he is just red in the face, blustery, and just irate. And he goes, are you just going to stand there and nod at me? And she goes, my other choice is to call you an asshole and throw you out of here. Uh, this does not sit well. And the woman I snaps go. her finger. <laughs> yes. yeah, that we're, is not we're attitude. We're like, uh, bravo. A, a, uh, some type of small construct, not small, man size construct uh clanks out this individual is clad in what appears to be metal skin uh and appears to be a knight it's a war forged uh the cleric kind of steps back indignantly uh and says that he is no longer going to frequent this establishment pushes you two out of the way and storms out the door can i try to trip him sure go ahead hit him uh, 17. Oh, yeah. He trips and uses his face to open the door. I was going to say either that or step on the chasuble and see him because Oops. of what else over Sorry Apple. about Our, that. Oops. Uh, um, the lady kind of smirks a little bit and says, how may I help you? Stop. If you're going to be an asshole, leave now. This is my place. No, I think we found the right spot. We try to avoid assholes. <laughs> well, we, Here we are. We need some rooms, and we also wanted you to... Are you the owner of the establishment? I am. I am Millie. Um, we wanted to know if you knew of our guildmaster from Cacophony, Famunda. Little Famunda? Little Famunda. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is my nephew. Well, he was a good man, and he's done great things for our city. He's actually oh, risen to the stories. heights. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that he is a, a council person of some type now. He yep. is, though. Yep. Oh, well, very good. How do you know him? Uh, we're in his guild. Oh. Yeah, he oh, relies on us for a lot. <laughs> oh, very nice. Well, he relies on people a lot, because he's a little bit on the lazy side and doesn't like to do the job himself. <laughs> anyway, be that as it may, I assume that you are adventurers. Uh, so you said you need a rooms? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I only have one room, and it was held by uh, uh, Priest Fatass there. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, and my apologies. The festival has uh, gone ahead and booked up most of the rooms. But uh, if you'll give me a few minutes, we can get it cleaned up, and you, you can have it. And I'll even give you a discount. And huh. as she says that, she notices the war force and goes clank, clank, clank into the back room. So should... you guys have never seen a war. No, forge. I'm like amazed. <laughs> well, okay. Amazed. So we need to ask her for some information if we need to know like where the library is, places that we need to go. Yes. Yes. Well, the library is clearly on the other side of the river on the high grounds, and you can see it. It's surrounded by the uh, large stone wall. It's kind of tough to miss. Uh, maybe you were enthralled by the luxurious lighthouse when you came in, but the library mm -hmm. is across the river. Uh, if you go through this plaza, you'll see one of the fine bridges in town. You can cross over into the Great Plaza, uh, and that is that sits on a hill 
in front of the great library. We've got a lot of greats in this town. As for <clears throat> things to do, uh, I do not know why you are here, so I could not reasonably give you an answer. Well, we need to find out some information at the library. Are you familiar with any knowledgeable scholars that we could come in contact with? D12 against me? Uh, Nine. Well, if I could find my 12. Nine. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a six. Ah, uh, yes. She tells you to find Phineas Ferb. He is a gnome. Uh, he is one of the librarian scholars. Um, he's kind of balding. Um, he's very peculiar looking. You'll, you'll, if you look for a library scholar who looks strange, that would be Phineas. Uh, he would probably be most likely to help you. You will not be allowed in the. Uh, library itself because you are uh, foreigners uh, so you will have to rely on someone if it were I I would choose Phineas Ferb uh, he's a little bit peculiar looks strange but has a good heart is there anything he's particularly fond of like uh, cheese or food well I'm sure he'll be at the festival um, but uh, he likes something, um, what is that word they call it? Um, it it's melted cheese. Fondue? Fondue <gasps> is what they call it. Nice. Uh, so if you can go to the festival later today uh, and find the fondue tents, you will probably find Phineas Ferb. Yes. Uh, because the Asiago celebration uh, will be going on in oh just Oh my a few God. Hours. We've come at just the right time. <laughs> Where is Wisconsin? It is uh, an annual celebration. <laughs> is there coffee here too? I do not know what coffee is. Uh, well, better one than nothing. Okay, thank you. We'll be back. You're welcome. Uh, How much? Yes. Oh, money. Yes. Five gold pieces. Oh yeah. Right. I'll pay her. That's a week. It. That's fine. Uh, and that's at a substantial discount because eh, you guys work for, for her nephew. Uh, so um, there you have it. Uh, she will send one of her underlings to go clean your room. She will tell you where it is. This is a two-story establishment. You will be on the balcony. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, facing away, away from the bay just so you know and as i rolled earlier it is overcast today okay. um so uh that being said let's hit what the fondue like tent to... sure well, uh you didn't ask where it was i was gonna ask <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna ask and what are some of the the finer places to eat around here what do you like if you only knew the adventures that we've been on, uh, anything that's good. I mean, we're we're open to the world with with choices. Uh, from here, uh, there is a place called uh, the Cabbage Patch, uh, and it sits right in front of the bridge uh, going over first bridge, not the second bridge. Uh, first bridge, older bridge colorful eh, don't go there after dark <clears throat> second bridge wider a lot of guards ritzier area uh, it's over by the temple kind of snooty if you ask me uh but yeah the cabbage patch is right on this side of the river at the first bridge and where is the festival taking place at where could we uh, find the fondue tent uh the festival is out on uh i know where this is because i wrote it down it is uh come on oh dirigible dirigible farm uh um, far. far end of the town this side in the lowlands it rained a lot so it's kind of swampy uh but uh the owner of the property likes his cheese uh and he has made his area uh, available for the festival uh 
inside his uh, stadium, I think is what he calls it. I'm not sure what it's. You'll see it. it it's the far end. Look for the balloon. Uh, his name is Zeppelin. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, do you have a son named Robert? Uh, I. No, I don't think he has any kids. Mm. Got some I think we're ahead nephews. of that timeline. <laughs> he's, he's got some nieces and nephews, but... Okay. Any other questions before you leave? Uh, uh, just the city itself. I gather it's a port city, but with like gnomish ingenuity. I, mean, I take it technology is a really <laughs> big thing here, I guess. If, if you... Wonders. If you made buildings out of cargo containers, that is what Nathan would look like. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, very irregularly shaped, a lot of postmodern uh, approaches, uh, and some of them very weird designs. Very uh, Bauhaus. <laughs> yes. Not a lot of natural stuff, like trees uh, and what. No, actually, here... You are in a basin. Uh, ah. so surrounding the town are hills. Um, the problem with that is everything in the basin is stoneworked or packed dirt. Uh, there are very few trees here. So is this very Las Vegas? Uh, without the palm trees. Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But everything is clean. Uh, this is uh, Andorra is more of a desertish, call it Algiers, uh, Tunisia, right around there. Uh, so fires are only made for cooking. So there's not a lot of smog. Uh, however, some of the buildings, Smithies, for instance, uh, have smoke pouring out of the ceiling uh, or out of the rooftops, rather and it will be easy to find those uh she will point out that uh the novish people are an industrial group uh and they are problem solvers especially here uh she said uh there's not a lot of fighting but fighting is best to be avoided because as you've met my friend that is what patrols the city guard i was going to uh, ask if there were more like him and there are many more like him. Uh, this one is a personal gift uh, from the high priest. Oh, well, you must be held in high esteem. Let's just say I too am a problem solver. Awesome. Dun dun. I like this. Thing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. She looks a lot like the lady who had Tweety Bird. <laughs> oh, nice, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. Uh -huh. So uh, she bids you well, uh, but yes, if you want to see the uh, Asiago celebration, it's all the way at the other end of town, follow the main road, hang a left through the fields, uh, can't miss it. She says it's in a stadium. Okay. That's, that's what the owner, Dirigible Farms, calls it. Well, let's go. And his yeah. name is Zeppelin. Uh, so as you walk out into the plaza, give me a perception check. Oh, well, that sucks. Three. Uh, 17. Uh, Camille, you were noticing the sights and sounds of the city. Uh, it is robust. People are going to and fro, most of them gnomes. However, there are foreign emissaries and visitors I feel here. among my people. Yes. I'm not the uh, shortest. You, you, you stand literally are. head and shoulders <laughs> at their level. Uh, <laughs> but Zadar, because like if you guys were going to China, you'd always be able to spot Zadar. Yeah. Zadar, you spot a very familiar figure. Uh, the Minotaur, Captain Del Rio, is moving through the plaza and spots you and motions to you. Yeah, okay. I, I motion back and see him and says, there's uh, Captain Del Rio. Let's go speak with him. He comes up. Uh, yeah, looks like he's been in a scuffle. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. See the uh, other guy. <laughs> yeah, the monks uh, have apologized to us for cutting oh, in front of them. Uh, they are apparently in a rush to find somebody. Um, I don't know. 
I, I, I don't get into the monk business. You're from uh, Cacophony. Maybe you've dealt with these individuals. Uh, yeah, what we're not <laughs> sisters of pain. He, he describes uh, what the Order of Pick wears. In it gray robes with red piping and stuff like that? Yep. yep. They're assassins. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of not in good esteem with them. <laughs> Well, at least you aren't the ones they're looking for. Who are they looking not. for? Somebody named Rosa. Hmm. She's wow. She's apparently a pirate. Mm. So interesting. They're, you're probably going to be hard pressed to find any accommodations here with the festival. Are you able to? Stay? I I will be sleeping on board the ship. Okay, I just want to I, make sure. I do not trust the monks. We will probably leave our slip. Uh, do you have any further need of us, or have we fulfilled our duty to you? No, you've, or you've got us here, and that was beyond. You are all good. You're all good. Well, we will be here a few days because we have the package to deliver for Gibble Thibbet. However, uh, if you have need of us, uh, we will most likely be out in the bay. I'm going to anchor, not in port, but out. Uh, other than that, best of luck, my friends. Uh, did you want your companion back, or should I just leave her to her throes of passion? If she's still, if they're still going, you can just keep her. You just they are still go going. Oh, okay, so, man. Okay. They got so, the eighty-gallon drum of lube. That's right. <laughs> uh, he wishes you well, uh, and then he heads over right. Uh, yeah, right next door to your inn uh, is one of the blacksmith shops, and that is where he is headed. Uh, he is the only Minotaur you've seen. Uh, so in this little plaza, and folks at home, we have the map up for you. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen because I will be able to point it out a little bit easier. So uh, here is Millie's place, and here is the smithy. Uh, so the party is moving through here. Uh, Grand Academy is here clearly, and this must be the Cabbage Patch. Uh, the Oval is uh, Dirigible Farms. So uh, you guys can see this. Uh, so where would you like to go first? I think well, Camille wants to make a beeline for the festival. Hell so yeah. We I need think to get that's some where we're headed. <laughs> and then we can talk to what's his face. Well, did you not want to eat first at the Cabbage Patch? They have cheese at the festival. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> as you Although go... Sadar might want something else. As, as uh, you... It's up to you guys. I, I, mean, that, I know where to go after, so let's do the sure. festival first. So it's we'll fill so up on cheese. since I've had cheese. Now, th this particular section of town is the low part, okay? Uh, and that extends over to the river. On the other side of the river, it is higher up, it is higher elevation. Uh, so like the Grand or the Great Plaza here is going to be at an angle. Uh, everything on this side of the river is going to be higher elevation looking over the city or over the other part of the city. Uh, the round circle here is for all intents and purposes, a wizard's tower, and it is flying several flags. Okay. Do uh, we know what kind? They are just colored flags. Orange, green, red, uh, blue. Uh, in the center of the tower uh, is a taller flagpole, uh, and it is a light blue just wafting slowly. Uh as you guys watch, the light blue flag comes down and is replaced with an orange flag, and it seems to start to flutter more as uh, you feel the breeze coming in off the ocean. Uh, give me an insight check. Wow. Well, I would guess something, but I only got a three again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Zadar only has a 10. No clue. No clue uh, what that means. 
uh, if it's significant or not, you are not sure. Uh, as you walk past uh, the pink structure, that is a gambling hall, not a house of ill repute. Uh, the pinks, in this case, uh, are adult and or gambling facilities. Uh, as you walk by, there is a line outside the cabbage patch, including a rather huffy cleric. Ugh, this guy. He is complaining to everybody in line about how rudely Millie's place is, uh, and the gnomes just do the bobblehead. Sure. <laughs> is he a human cleric? He is a human cleric. Hmm. Mm. Uh, you guys pass by unnoticed as he continues his Karen-esque ranting. Uh, as you continue to hug the river, uh, it is built up. So there is a, a half wall there uh, where you can lean over, look down into the river. Uh, it, it's there for protection so people don't fall in. As you continue more, uh, it really narrows. It's a choke point here, and that is a construction problem. As you go through, kind of just wider than a wagon, uh, you notice that it's a choke point because the huge temple, uh, and my apologies, I forgot to look up who or who they worship. Um, I have it, but I've forgotten it. Uh, stands here. Uh, and it is more of a cathedral than anything else, a very Neolithic cathedral, uh, a lot of, um, uh, not Neolithic, Gothic, shall we oh. say, a, a lot of ornamentation on the spires. Uh, and it looks like, you just by looking at it, you can tell from the coloration of the stones how it was originally, how it was built up, how it was built up, how it was built up. Uh, so clearly it is in need of a power washing. Uh, but you can tell from the positioning of this, that's why the choke point's there. As you round the corner, uh, there is an or oration going on, uh, mass, if you will, out in the plaza in front of it. To your right, you will spot the wider bridge. Now, the short bridge and the wider bridge are both ornamented or adorned in uh, lights uh, with statues ho holding balls of light. Uh, of course, in the overcast, they are very dimly lit. You surmise that maybe at night they're a little bit brighter, although you were told to avoid the narrow bridge. As you walk past and beyond, again, a lot of sights, a lot of sounds, even a lot of smells. With the wind at your back, you're getting a lot of ocean breeze smells, uh, and that would be the poorer section of town. So you're getting, you know. Brown, eh. the color brown. Yeah, color brown is what it smells like. Uh, so it's sketchy. A lot of people are wandering by to and fro, uh, including three individuals in black robes with crimson piping you are familiar with the order of pick i think is what i called it i know it's p-i-i-k <laughs> order of pick uh and they are scanning the crowd oh, well I... tell camille good thing they've never encountered me in this form so <laughs> we're sure. safe with that <laughs> Uh, Camille, D20, I am going to D12. Uh, nine. Eleven. Oh. One of them stops you. Yes. Can I help you? You are from Cacophony. Mm, I am. Give me an insight check. You do not recognize this individual. Uh, they see it in your eyes. You may go on, wizard. Okay. Nothing I can help you with then? Have you seen your friend Rosa in a while? 
No. When was the last time you saw Rosa? I cannot recall. I have been on many adventures. You have not seen her since uh, early 100s. So it has been almost 200 episodes. The last time you saw her was when you did the Goonies adventure yeah. in, in the cave and she sailed off with the ship. Right. Um, Right, we got her, her ship. <laughs> so it has been a long time. Um, Years. My apologies. Enjoy, Enjoy the festival. <laughs> we uh, are busy, but thank you very much. Uh, as you guys continue to move this way, more people are starting oh. to filter in. Uh, everybody's joyous. They're boisterous. Uh, the uh, listening to their conversation. Oh, I hope they have this cheese. Oh, I hope they have that cheese. Oh, I, I can hardly wait. I hope I'm selected to be a judge. Oh, uh, a judge. Wow. And, and uh, there, there's a myriad of uh, discussions going on. But it, as you can tell, everybody seems to be happy. Uh, four clunking Warforged uh, move north to south uh and people get out of their way rapidly uh as you reach the edge of town there's a huge field and just lines of people headed that way so uh to find the chow you can just follow the herd uh as you round the corner of several buildings you notice that there is one of the tallest buildings you've ever seen in mass and height uh this would almost rival the tower in cacophony uh this thing's got to be almost 30 feet high if not higher and it is an oval picture roman Colosseum, mm. and the people are going in under rounded arches from all sides you can hear music coming out of this area Dog uh, and you <laughs> see a giant colorful balloon uh perched wow on the top uh the balloon has a basket to it so unlike uh the one that flew you to from Freckland or in your trials this is just a rounded balloon with a large basket oh okay uh but it is perched on the top of the stadium oh wow wonder if they're doing uh flights for you know <laughs> you pay 20 gold pieces they take you up so far and then <laughs> pull you back down uh it does not look like there is anybody manning it at this time oh, okay. so no right. no free rides uh as you go in through the arches there are several gnomes all dressed in uh colorful tunics uh with wicker baskets uh as you watch the people ahead of you. They fumble around, grab change, and throw it in like they're going into a toll booth. Uh, every time money goes into the basket, uh, the gnomes, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. As you get close, uh, you've noticed some people haven't thrown money in but are allowed to go in. Would you guys like to throw in some coins? uh yes Zadar will throw in some coins um is, Camille, do they Camille accept throws. any denomination or just they do not appear to be picky okay uh, i i i throw in um uh five silver sure okay camille how much do you want to throw in i'm sorry how much uh, money would you like to throw into the wicker baskets? Mm. What's... I just threw in some silver. So. Yeah. Because he's a cheap ass. <laughs> well, oh, uh... we don't know what's going to happen here, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they invented traveler's checks yet. <laughs> so how much are you throwing in, Camille? I'll throw in some silver. Okay, fair enough. Uh, each of you roll a straight up d20. I roll here something. 20. Ooh, 18. So nice. close. <laughs> uh, Camille, as you toss your money in, you overhear 
a woman telling her small child, this is for the poor who need it. Hmm. Okay. As you go in, you go in through a small tunnel, then there are stairs that lead up to the higher levels. Uh, but apparently the festivities are all in the base. This is essentially Roman Coliseum, soccer stadium, something of that nature. Cheese, just multiple varieties of cheese hit your face. I mean, it's got to smell wonderful. Uh, up in the stands, you can see there are other vendors. There are people. There are musical groups at each end uh, playing to the crowd. There are a lot of it looks like bladders like balloons there's balloons everywhere there's streamers that celebrate a big thing in the center of the stadium is a large circular platform painted orange looks like a wheel of cheese uh but all of the all of the booths are down on the main area <clears throat> and you aren't this looks like a newer structure um but you for the life of you, you cannot fathom what it would be used for. Um, and around the base of it, it says uh, dirigible farms. So I, you, you do not know. Uh, the cheese festival is everywhere. Everybody is offering free samples uh, and uh, everybody is partaking in it. There is also purchasing. So if you wish to purchase a wheel or wedge, a slice of cheese, you may do so. There are literally more types than you can count. There are yeah. also vendors selling things covered in cheese. There are vendors with cheese and bread. There are vendors with heated cheese and bread. I was gonna say, can is there, there a cheese here? fountain somewhere? <laughs> Well, I guess we need to go to the heated cheese and bread. That would be the fondue, yes? Sure. Yeah. I think that's where we'll find our fellow. Um, uh, who wants to roll the d12 first? You got to match me to find him. I'll let David roll because I'm still like, oh, jeez. Okay. Jeez. Four. Okay. Uh, you come to the first fondue place. Uh, it's serving white cheese. Mm -hmm. So it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> so well, geez. Uh, would you guys like to partake of it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll sample. Uh, you guys can roll con at advantage. I lean into Camille and I say, "Don't forget, we got a bag of holding." Ooh, oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, Eleven, uh, fifteen. Uh, Zadar likes it more than Camille does. Uh, whatever it's not cheese sharp is, enough. Whatever this cheese is, it's just not suitable to your palate. Uh, there are clowns, people dressed up with painted faces. Uh, there is that makes a, me very uncomfortable. There, there is, there are two gnomes dressed up. One is dressed up as an orange wheel of cheese, and it what? is being pursued by one who is dressed up like a saltine cracker <laughs> and they run through the crowd banging into people uh humorous uh but a little bit on the dangerous side oh, do you weird. guys want to continue to move up and down the stalls or do you want to go to the main stage or what do you want to do there are also uh vendors selling libations Ooh. okay well i've i've hogged the directioning all the time so is it our, i'll let you pick well let's step and get a libation while we uh peruse the stalls okay d6 you have found a, a java dealer oh hey what a meal java, java dealer i thought they didn't know what coffee was they call it java what's coffee <laughs> it smells like coffee uh, this guy has bags of beans uh, and he has a little tiny grinder. He is a gnome uh, and as he's grinding it, he asks if you want some java. He then does, starts to move around like Wait, this. I have a the, mug. <laughs> and the grinder continues to move. It appears to be magical in nature. He goes, well, that is a very classy mug, I must say. 
Uh, he gets enough, and he asks if you want foam on it. Yes, I will take foam. Of course. <laughs> uh, he pours in the java, reaches into the other bag, takes some dust, and sprinkles it across the top, and it just plumps into a white foam. Uh, and he hands you back your mug. He asks Zadar the same thing. Is that what you want? Same thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, do you, do you have your flying J mug or no? I do, actually. Right. So, both of your flying J mugs, uh, you may now continue to peruse down the stalls. There, there's probably three lanes of stalls. Uh, everything, everybody has a different thing. Uh, there's one guy selling these yellowish orange triangles that kids are putting on their head and it says cheese down the center nice. probably near green bay or something wow probably <laughs> so do i like the java uh oh i'm sorry uh constitution of advantage 18 yes okay like i'll buy in some shit oh yeah yeah. He he will sell uh he has small collections bags of beans. Okay. Um does he have a pot or the java? The bird? No, he does not. His uncle does. His uncle's at the far end of the stadium. I just need to make sure we have the beans. We can do the rest of it. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh roll a percentage. Uh two tens, both of you. Um, how about the grinder? Does he sell the grinder? That's also his uncle. His uncle as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got a six and a pair of, uh, pair of zeros. <laughs> 60? Uh... 40. Okay. Um, yeah, you each get a small bag of beans. Nice. Uh, the festival is kicking off. Uh, an individual in a strange hat, a top hat, actually, uh, black coat and tails, uh, odd even. Is he the mayor? Uh, he, the is the, he is the lord of the cheese festival, and he taps Camille on the shoulder because they are face to face and says, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right Thanks for letting uh, me know. Are you too new to our city? Yes, yes, we are. Are you yes. connoisseurs of the fromage? OMG, I have never seen so many cheeses. I am so excited. I just, I, I, I don't know what to say. Did this, you know, enlightens Zadar. It's just like, it's a gnomish thing with cheese, isn't it? <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Uh, the, I grab his hand and I'm going, there is so much cheese here. Uh, he, that weirds him out a little bit. He asks uh, if you know any of the vendors. Know them? No. No, no I'm afraid not. Not related to any of them? No. Are you busy? Not currently. No. Oh. Uh, I am the Grand Marshal of this, and we need a few more judges uh, for the final round. Uh, if you would be interested, uh, we will feed you, uh, give you beverages, and uh, we will get you a discount on uh, the cheese of your choice. Oh, I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. Uh, I'm, I so, would be so honored. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's one yes, Siddhar. Uh uh, yes, Zadar will partake. <laughs> uh, he claps his hands, and here comes one of those clanking war forges. Instead of the helmet, uh, they have decorated him in a round uh, wheel of cheese. That seems uh, humiliating. Uh, go ahead and take these two up onto the podium. Okay. Uh, he goes clanking through, and when he does, everybody moves. Uh, he leads you to the steps leading you up onto the daz, if you will, where there is a long table. There are already five 
judges uh, sitting there eagerly awaiting uh, the opportunity to judge cheeses. Do they look bitchy? Uh, they all look like gnomes except for, I'm sorry, four gnomes and a human. What does the human look like? Uh, good looking male. Uh oh, for Zatar, because he looks like the Jessica Rabbit thing, so. Or she uh, does. And he is dressed in skins. Mm. He looks like the Beastmaster, only with Arnold Schwarzenegger's body. Yeah, <laughs> that's not attractive. Okay. But he, he's good looking, a lot of teeth. Okay. Here oh, and, 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 ar and around his neck. Fabio? Uh, he, he is a Fabio. Okay. Good to know. Uh, the four gnomes look like average Joe Schmoes. Not a big deal. They are eagerly awaiting. There are two empty seats at the end of the table. Uh, Mayor McCheese dude comes back up there and he goes, okay, as you know, this is the final round. Uh, what we want from you is we want you to go ahead and judge each of the items that we will bring you. Um, our, uh, what do you call people who make cheese? Uh, cheesemonger? Cheesemonger. Our cheesemongers oh, yeah. are over there. And you can see there are uh, four cheesemongers. Uh, all four of them are gnomes. Hmm. Uh, they eagerly await, uh, if not somewhat gruffly, sitting across from you, uh, looking. The Mayor McCheese explains to you uh, that you have apple cider in front of you to burn off the taste, uh, as well as some bread. You will sample each wheel of cheese. Uh, you will then wash away your palate, dry your palate with the bread, wash again, and then you uh, try the next one. Uh, there are four finalists at this point in time, all gnomes, all sitting directly across from your table, uh, most of them looking eager. One of them uh, looks like he has a great disdain uh, for having to wait. Uh, uh -oh. Clearly, he thinks that he's already won this. As you sit up there, uh, Mayor McCheese explains to you the rules uh, and asks if you have any questions. Me, me, I have questions. Yes. Are we allowed to ask questions of the cheesemongers? Not currently. Uh, this is a blind taste. There will be an interview portion uh, for uh, cheese congeniality. <laughs> so this is strictly based on how we feel about the flavor of the cheese. Correct. Okay. That's all I need to know right now. It's all about the cheese. So, uh, each one of you roll a D20 for the first one. Two. Three. Nine. Uh... Wash your palate, dry your palate with the bread, rewash your palate, try number two. Ooh. Ooh. Two. Two. <laughs> Deuces. Uh, third one. Seventeen. Ooh. Two. <laughs> Fourth one. Switch a die. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, 18. Clearly, we have a winner. Uh, 35. <laughs> uh, the others cast their vote. Uh, perception check at disadvantage, both of you. Eight. Um, for Zadar perception, uh, at disadvantage is a 16 plus eight. Very nice. 
Uh, Camille, you are in cheese heaven. You do not notice anything unusual. Zadar, however, does notice something. In the first instance of cheese, uh, you notice that the impatient individual is making a lot of unusual head gestures. You further notice that two of the judges have rated this quite high uh, in spite of your total of 12. Ah. Okay. Zadar kind of takes it like, I think the fix is in. <laughs> Mayor McCheese comes up after the four and then asks uh, uh, what your scores are. And it turns out one and four seem to have resulted in a tie. But we didn't hmm. like one. You did not. Hmm. How is that possible? Remember, there's seven judges including you two. So it wasn't going strictly on your die roll total. They also rolled, but as it turns out, one and four seem to have tied. Mm -hmm. And what was their score? Uh, their score uh, was 60 as well. Okay. You two accounted for 35. Okay. Uh, okay. Mayor McCheese seems concerned because they've never had a tie before. Um, Zadar gets the mayor's attention. You have a question? Uh, I do, I do. I'm kind of a very perceptive fellow, and I believe maybe one of the cheesemongers might have been signaling couple of judges why would you say that i don't know you have a tie don't you <laughs> yes i mean it, so. it just seemed odd i'm not not giving any accusations but it's just i just found it odd so but you were not accusing anyone mm -mm, no but you might just take a look at the behavior of the gallery and see See if you notice anything. That is fair. Thank you for pointing that out to our attention. Uh, as the uh, final ruling is awaited on, we will now see who is Miss Cheese Congeniality. <laughs> uh, first one up, uh, he introduces you to Roquefort von Baika. Uh You guys recognize him as the impatient one. Okay. Uh, two of the judges, Zadar will recognize, uh, are throwing softball questions at this guy. You know, is this made with a lot of love? You know, do you care for it? Blah, blah, blah. Real easy questions. Uh, do you two, either one of you two have a question for Roquefort? Go ahead. What kind of enzymes do you use to coagulate your teas? the sheep stomach enzymes. And are your, uh, uh, the cows uh, in which that you use to produce this cheese, are they free range or are they grain fed? Everybody's free range here. How Very long well. do you age your <laughs> cheese? It depends on the cheese uh, flavor that I desire. So this cheese that you've given us today. One year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the other two judges pipes in and goes, how much love do you put in this cheese? Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the second one, uh, you guys gave it a total of four. Uh, 
Holder Conti, a female gnome. She looks crestfallen. She knows she got her shit pushed in on this one. However, she did make it to the final four. So, hmm. do you have any questions for her? I ask her, um, and what kind of enzymes do you use in your cheese? I use goats. Okay. And how long do you age your cheese? Uh, I only age my cheese about uh, six to nine months. Okay. And is that what you're, the cheese today that you've given us? This cheese came out a little early. Uh, we had a very big sale. Uh, and this, uh, honestly, uh, not to take away from anybody here, but uh, this was not my best cheese. My best cheese uh, went to market. Uh, I've had a considerable amount of uh, hospitalization bills that I had to go ahead and address. Oh. Oh. How long have you been in the cheese business? Uh, I am a third generation uh, monger. Hmm. Any other questions? Third one up, you gave a 19, second highest. Uh, Obadiah Fontina. Uh, <laughs> this guy is a portly gentleman with a very distinct mustache that he likes to twist and curl. <laughs> what kind of enzymes do you use? I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Oh. Do you know? My wife is the monger in the family, but she is ill. So oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How long do you age your teas? I think she ages it a year. Um, and I'm sorry, what illness do you, does your wife have? Uh, I do not know. Uh, the clerics and the priests have not been able to determine what it is. Uh, it came on rather rapidly about a week ago. <clears throat> Holda mentions that that was about the same time that her uh, illness struck her. Hmm. Okay. Um, how's the, the health of your stock? Um, cows seem pretty happy, well fed, seem to be we have the happiest. Long. We have the happiest cows in Nathan. Very well, very good. <laughs> Fourth one up is Colby Edom. Uh, you gave him a 35 highest rated out of any of them. Uh, he is a jovial man and he has a cough. So he answers questions from the other judges. <clears throat> so he's you. Pretty much. So, <laughs> Only far less annoying. What type of enzymes do you use? Uh, I actually use a uh, cattle enzyme. <laughs> cattle enzyme. Okay. How long do you age your cheese? Our cheese is aged for <clears throat> about a <clears throat> about a year and a half. Okay. We have a special hut uh, that we've dug out. Uh, it's a cellar, uh, and we actually uh, dip it in wax. Uh, his was the gooeyest of cheeses, by the way. So, do you wash the rinds on your cheese? So uh, we wash them every week and then flip them. Ah, not with wax you don't. With wax we do. No, you don't. Did you like my cheese? Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping them while they are waxed is why. Uh... <laughs> For the record, folks, no, I am not a cheese monger. I, if it doesn't come singularly wrapped, I don't. If it doesn't sell, it's say Velveeta. That's right. It's more American processed. Right. But he's done well up till now. That's right. Uh, I did do some homework. Uh, but yes, he tends to flip them, even though you're not supposed to flip the wax. 
I forgive him for that. Okay. <clears throat> no other questions? Uh, who do you wish to choose as Mr. or Miss Cheese Ganality? <laughs> That's a tough one. Well, um, I mean, we have to confer with the other judges, yes or no? Yeah. Uh huh. I think we need to expose the first one, though. Mr. Impatience. Mm -hmm. uh, three judges voted for Mr. Impatient to be Mr. Congenial Cheeseality. Mm -hmm. One voted for number three, Obadiah, and one voted for Colby. I kind of like the little lady, the, the third generation one. Olga? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, she received no votes. So At your all? two votes oh, your two votes will be negligible. Oh, nice no. giveth, nice take it away. I rolled three ones, a four, and a three. What did uh, Mr. Jolly Flipper of Cheese get? <laughs> How many? Uh, he got three votes. Three votes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then you don't need us at all, then. Perhaps not. Well, if you voted for three or four, that would be a tie. Wait, hmm. which one was three? Obadiah. He had no idea how to make cheese. <sighs> because his wife is the monger and she's sick. I guess I would go with three because the other guy clearly didn't know what he was doing by flipping his waxed cheese. Except you liked it the most. <sighs> he probably had something to do weird with it. I don't know. I leave to Zadar because I am compromised in my cheese love. Okay. Zadar, uh, investigation check, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, investigation 17. Uh, Reroll it. Okay. Ooh, not as good. Uh, that would be 14. Uh, you notice uh, one of the judges voting for Mr. Personality to him. As you look over to Mayor McCheese, See. He appears to have noticed it as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now he's kind of doing this. Uh, Mr. Personality spots him. <laughs> Checking out the clouds, huh? Nobody else has noticed this at all. Okay. Okay. I lean uh, over and I ask Sadar, what do you think's going on? I don't know. Some kind of cheese fixes in. <laughs> so, uh, I think we have have two different people that actually have the fix in for the cheese. So, is that what I'm perceiving, Frank? Is that what you're telling us? That it seems as though uh, two people voted for him for a cheese that wasn't that good. Yeah, uh, still better than uh, Hulda's. Yeah. Because hers was cardboard. Hers was from Domino's Pizza. Domino's, if you want me to change my mind, go ahead and sponsor us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, but as for the congeniality, he got three votes. So two were the same two that spoke highly of his cheese. Mm -hmm. The one I, cheese coma person, I don't know. Oh. So you can't tell... The third one you aren't sure if is fixed. The first two you have a fairly good idea that there is something underhanded going on. Yeah, yeah, I, I tell that to Camille. I say like uh, so and so and so and so. Yeah, they've they've got something coming in, and I think our our votes are gonna 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 sway this. So, it's two different votes: the best cheese versus cheese congeniality. Correct. Right. So, who do you like for cheese congeniality? I don't care about the congeniality. I care about the cheese. 
Right, right. So, but unfortunately, we've got to pick something or someone. I mean, we can just throw our, our votes away and throw it to Helda, uh, I guess, or Holda. Holda. Mayor McTree stands as the crowd grows restless and he goes, We have a tie. Uh, we're we'll, tie breakers. <laughs> or we, have tie, we have a tie from cheese taste. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We will do this the old fashioned way. We will dwarf toss. What? What? And he pulls out a large coin. This side is a dwarf's head. Oh. This side is a dwarf's butt. <laughs> yeah. Really? You're picking cheese that way? Can't we just retaste? No. You've already tasted. Uh, dwarf's head, odd, will be Roquefort. Okay. Dwarf, dwarf's butt, even, will be Colby. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Up, oh. Roquefort. Roquefort, it is. Is that the one we liked? That was that is the... the one you did not like. Ah, we did it. not like yeah. Mr. Shifty. He uh, does his best Al Capone in the Untouchables. Uh huh. Uh, the judge next to you says, this is the third year in a row he's won. Third year, you say. Yep. But mm. a great guy. Great guy. Why is he so great? He's a really nice guy. What does he do? Now, th this is one who did not vote for his cheese, but did vote for him as cheese congeniality. What does he do that's so great? Go, you should go talk to him. He's a great guy. No, I want to know why you think he's great. Because he's a great guy. He's very nice, very personable. Serial if killers we, can be personable. What is a serial killer? <sighs> Remember, you're up here. The barbarian might know what you mean. These others are just bumpkins. General. <laughs> Fine. I mean, you, got, you guys have seen a lot of shit. These we people, have. <laughs> not so much. You know, they are in the peacetime capital, home of knowledge. These guys have nothing to worry about. I want to punch him in the throat, but I won't. You haven't even talked to him yet. No, I'm not yeah, there next to me. Oh. Oh. All right, let's go talk to him. <clears throat> yep, we'll go talk to him. Uh. Oh. Are we at that point to where we can do that? Or? Yeah, they're still trying to figure out who uh, Chief Congeniality is going to be. He sees you approach and he goes, thank you, honored judges. I appreciate your time and effort in this endeavor. I am sorry you did not enjoy my cheese, but I'm glad that you found cheese that you did like. I will endeavor to do better. So how is it that you've won the last three years? God knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. What god is that? It's the god I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever Dewey Dacamo worship. I oh, forget Lord. what it is, though. Isn't that Gond or something like that? I don't remember what it is. I thought I had the backgrounds for all of them. <laughs> but I, I cannot find it. It's not in my Sedellus folder. Because uh, <clears throat> so I know they all pick deities. So I hear that you're a great guy. So what makes you a great guy? I would I would not call myself a great guy. I am simply a guy. I love to give to the poor. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, I'm a construction uh, aficionado. I help uh, build on the outskirts for those less fortunate than me. Mm -hmm. Oh, little humanitarian building habitats. Correct. It's the least I can do. Okay. Yeah, that's so, that's admirable. Yeah. What do you get from winning this whole cheese thing? Is there a prize or is it just a title? Just a title. Okay. 
is there a trophy or a medal or something like that that you get to keep for the year or something hmm, that sounds like a great idea no okay so you get hmm. nothing from this well there's a sash okay do you get to keep the sash i get to keep the sash i have uh two others at home oh okay okay All right. uh, about that time mayor mccheese comes over and has this white very shiny very very soft fabric and it says cheese winner that's i mean but i thought it was congeniality well they have not decided the cheese on tasting that. yeah they haven't we're decided still on deciding congeniality. That, so. uh but yes uh the mayor so he won the cheese tasting and congeniality nobody's, yet, nobody's won the congeniality yet but who won the so tasting far. he did but we didn't like him. Correct. Oh, God. Right. I've turned into my mother. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, uh, that, yeah. Uh, the, the, the sash is, for lack of a better term, cheesy. I it's mean, cheesy. It's, it's not expensive. It's not made out of precious metals. Oh, that's fine. There's, there's no ornamentation in it. Uh, it says cheese winner. It just says cheese winner on it. Uh, okay. And... Uh, he wears it. He, he thanks the uh, uh, um, crowd. Mayor, Mayor McCheese. Uh, he appreciates the efforts uh, and points out that he looks forward to seeing him on their next build. Next okay. what? Build. 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 Yeah, yep. he builds houses for oh. the poor. <clears throat> oh. So, I have to say, yeah, I mean, he seems like the good type. He just might be a little competitive. What do you about build? His I build homes for those less fortunate. Right. Is that the only thing you build? Well, I'm a bit of a tinkerer. How do you get paid for your build? Oh, I do not accept money for build. The build is out of uh, charitable works. Charitable works. Where does that come from? I think we just gave to that. Oh, that. I help people. <laughs> I, so, I, are you unfamiliar with helping people for the greater good? The greater good. So when you win it, this competition, it, uh, does that increase your sales? Uh, we do see a bump in our sales. Okay. Uh, but quite honestly, uh, my three competitors all see a bump in their sales, and uh, I, I would have been hard pressed to have the job that you guys did. I thank you. Uh, oh, fuck off for your efforts. Oh, nice, nice. You're telling the Mormon to fuck off. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know he was Mormon, but I'd still tell him to fuck off. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, both of you roll insight. Okay. <laughs> okay, the cat's in the way, oh, but I'll try. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Insight. Okay, mm. 20, not natural. Oh, sir. <sighs> 17. Uh, you felt pretty sure this guy's telling the truth. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm thinking his, his story holds water. He, so. is, he has tainted my cheese experience. I am so sorry well, you did that. Not, but... not 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 everybody's cheese agrees with everybody. So, well, uh, anyway, Mayor Mc... we need to find what's his face. Mayor McCheese comes over and he has four wheels of cheese, uh, about yay big around, uh, from each of the final uh, finalists. Uh, gives them to you in a basket. Each one of you has a basket. Uh, Roquefort actually. Uh, calls one of his children over and they give you an additional uh, round of cheese. Why? Uh, for your time. Your time is very valuable and we certainly appreciate the fact that uh, you were kind enough to take time out of your schedule and your enjoyment. We, we just thank you. He's just well, trying to irritate me, isn't Thank you. <laughs> Uh, they have decided that they cannot uh, answer a cheese geniality uh, winner. 
Yes. Uh, but Roquefort uh, requests that his name be removed, uh, and they reluctantly agree and give it to me, Colby. Me, me, me. He's a high elf. <laughs> there are no <laughs> All four no. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, that is it for your judging duties. Uh, the ale manufacturers uh, also give you each a small flask of their variety. Each of you can roll a D4. That's how many flasks you walk away with. Please, oh, okay. A D4? Mm -hmm. Four. <laughs> Ooh, I get four, too. Very nice. Uh, so you guys are making out like bandits because everybody loves a good judge. Uh, as you leave the day as, nobody gives a shit. You know, there's no, oh, thank you, oh, you suck, none of that. Uh, everybody, <laughs> everybody is very happy. This is a very nice festival. Uh, the stalls are going to be going on for another couple hours. This is just the midpoint. There are bands at either end playing lively tunes. Uh, and you guys can go off and search for the fondue again. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, pick up our search for, for the fondue. And also, I think the fondue, they would have a cheese fountain. Let's try to find I a cheese so. fountain. <laughs> so who's rolling D12 this time? Well, I um, can't get to it because the cat's here. <laughs> I'll, I'll roll a D12. 11. 10. Uh, you do find the cheese fountain. Oh, wow. It is... It is an interesting item. A lot of interesting items here, because uh, these gnomes are rather industrious fuckers. Uh, that's two. You want to try again? Uh, sure, sure. Looking. Do you for... want to try the cheese fountain? Uh, yeah, yeah. If they got like little bread and. Uh, yeah. give me a d twenty. Sausages. Uh, Apples. Uh, Seventeen. That's yeah, good. Okay. Oh Very yeah. Good. Nachos, spicy. Spicy. <laughs> yep. Try again. Yeah. Rolling a T twenty or T twelve. T twelve. Okay. Uh five. Nope. Oh, uh, you found another fondue place. This one seems to have wheat bread. Oh, okay. All right. Another. Yep. Ten. There you go. Uh, you see a short squat individual languishing on uh, kind of a tone you recognize, too. Uh, really? Just the way this individual speaks as you're walking up on him. He's got kind of a monkish hairstyle. Uh, he's wearing a robe. Uh, you guys don't realize it, but it's a, a robe of the librarians. Uh, and he is going on and expounding on the various facets of this particular fondue. Uh, you're just getting a vibe off him. Yeah, I point that out to Camille. I said, I think that's our guy over there. And Well, if does he's he waxing not... poetic about fondue, we need to talk to him. Yeah, but doesn't he sound kind of familiar? Uh, let's go. <laughs> All right. You walk up behind him, and he continues to expound on the fact. And I kick of... the back of his knee. Well, that's pretty fucking rude. <laughs> I'm Did she reach his knee? This, this is another well, gnome, that's true. right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you kick out his knee? Well, I'm not wanting to hurt him. It's just like you tap it, and he like. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> uh, you tap it. Let's see if he falls. Because if he falls, he ain't going to be helping you guys. Uh, that 20. Uh, he does not fall. He takes it in the vein that it was delivered. But as he turns around, you've seen this face before. Oh. This guy is a gnome. Mm -hmm. But he is the spitting image. Of what one... Mortimer J. Seed. Oh, <laughs> I mean, but like Mortimer's... looking in a mirror. Wait, Mortimer's a human, though. Yeah. Correct. Oh, a short human. God. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I did not realize I was hogging the line. My apologies. And he steps away and motions you to go up to the fondue. 
<laughs> Wait, thank you. Thank you. But I think you're the gentleman we are looking for. Millie actually recommended you. Yes. Millie D's nuts? Yes. Yes. Oh. It's a matter of fact. Well, I am Phineas Farb or Phineas Ferb. Uh, what did she recommend me for? You I mean, do not look like you need assistance from me. Well, we've traveled. <laughs> I am merely a scholar from the great library here in Andorra. Who were your parents? Uh, my parents were uh, Kavina and Edie. You didn't have a dad? Kavina is my father. Did you know him? Yes, he's floating around here somewhere. Floating? <laughs> he's uh, mingling. Yeah. He is a fondue connoisseur such as me. Although my educational background far exceeded his, uh, I stayed an extra two years at the library. Oh, that's the fine. Time. Okay. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, the library, does it have any like treatises or tomes on traveling through time? It is the great library of Andorra. Of course it does. It has books on every subject known to mankind. Why, I myself have gone through a rather significant amount of the, and he's just droning. <laughs> Moment later, an individual appears behind you and says, son, son, you're droning on. As you turn to see this new individual, who is apparently his father, it is another gnome. Mm-hmm. That looks exactly like Mortimer J. Sneed. Oh my gosh! How is this possible? <laughs> well, remember cacophony. I know. <laughs> yeah, it is a pleasure to meet you, sir. Mortimer is such a slut. <laughs> Thank um, you. My son here, he can help you out of any problem. He is as uh, bookish as they come. Son, you got a little fondue on you. <laughs> and the two of them look and sound exactly alike. It's almost like they cloned them 20 years apart. Oh, wow. <laughs> How nice. is that possible? We're the ones holding the time medallion. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we tell them what we need? Uh, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> tell, we'll tell them, look, this is a day for festivals and things like that, but uh, we would very much like to meet with you to discuss uh, some things we've encountered in our travels. And plus, we have a friend that's in dire need. And um, unfortunately, the academy, the Grand Academy, Grand Academy, I have where this, this person is, they don't seem to have the particular answers to this person's plight. The those are some of the secondary most great minds of uh, this region. That's why we came to the first. Hmm. Uh, yes, Good one. I can. Good one. I, I can meet with you tomorrow if you would like. Uh, yes, yes, we would like to uh, set an appointment with you. By the way, my name is Zadar. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I kind of curtsy or whatever because I'm in female form. Uh, right, that gets the boobs down to eye level. Yeah. And they, they both mm -hmm, lock in on it. Because, okay. oh, yeah. you know, they're Mortimers, whatever. Exactly. Mortimers. And uh, this is my companion, Camille. And uh, yes, we would very much like to meet with you tomorrow. A pleasure. Where would you like to meet and when? Uh, how about the Cabbage Patch? Oh. For lunch? Yes. You buy yes yes we will we'll buy certainly uh i would like that uh his dad grabs a hold of him and he says now the business is done son you gotta taste this stuff this stuff is really good uh they yeah, call and, it queso yeah and we're, we're we're just like would you mind if we joined you to oh my god to try this so oh, so by all means take along so you guys spend the afternoon with uh these guys uh what is it uh, Kavina and Phineas, and they move 
all over the place quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. Each place, uh, Phineas will go ahead and expound on different things. Tend to drone. His father, however, seems to be alert to this and will just kind of give him the elbow, kind of like Shut a stick record to make him move on. Uh, you guys see a variety of sites. They will introduce you to uh, Lycoris Sin, uh, a female. Okay. What was her first name again? Lycoris. L-Y-C-O-R-I-S Sin. S-I-N-N. Yeah, I and, that part. Uh, she is a leather worker by trade. Uh, she likes to do uh, book bundles. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes, not not leather whips, uh, leather book binders. Uh, she actually has a voracious appetite and is a bit on the rotund side. And you notice that she and Phineas seem to have somewhat of a close friendship. Uh, you also notice that Phineas is a little bit on the aloof side. Uh, and she seems to want a little bit more. Uh, uh, the father at some point in time will look at you. Uh, so the father is grounded uh, and he understands how life works, but uh, Phineas, he's oblivious uh, to this, isn't he? <laughs> Phineas, Phineas is oblivious. Uh, he is definitely a lot like Mortimer, more so in, on the spectrum. Yes, he is on the spectrum. Uh, but you spend the afternoon together. Uh, finally, Kavina points out that they must get home. Uh, their mother will be worried. Uh, and Phineas begins a long, drawn-out dissertation on why there is really no need to be worried because the safety here at the Cheese Festival is fine, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and uh, Lycoris, <clears throat> Lycoris, Kavina, and Phineas bid you a fond evening as the sun begins to set. Uh, we've been with them a fine evening. We tell uh, Phineas uh, we look forward to seeing him tomorrow. Him and uh, Kavina, if they would like to join us. Uh, Kavina will be busy, uh, but Phineas okay. will be available. Okay. Uh, tomorrow's work day. So oh. okay. uh, they leave. Uh, you are in a foreign city, and it's starting to get dark. Oh, crap. We need to get back to the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll start working our way back to Millie's place. Okay, fair enough. Uh, as you do, the crowd is much less because most of them have already gone home, full bellies and all. Uh, you hear a pair of uh, government workers examining the river flow. Uh, give me straight up the twenties between the two of you. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, Camille, you hear them discussing it. They are apparently from the Department of Sanitation, and they are trying to determine whether or not the pipes will hold up to remove the sewage from the cheese festival. Gross. Apparently, this is a known issue. Well, yeah, everybody gets <laughs> Come on. Uh, of course. So, uh, but as you make your way back, you notice a couple of monks. Scanning the crowd. Oh god, these assholes again. Uh, hey, they're not looking for us, so that's, that's a good thing. You guys pass by. Don't even, even don't even know you exist. Uh, as you walk by the cabbage patch, uh, you notice that there is now outdoor seating. Uh, oh, apparently. Right. Apparently, uh, there are several high stools uh, fit for gnomes, uh, and uh, people are enjoying a nice drink out as the moon begins to rise uh, over the uh, city. Um, why don't we uh, have some drinks at the Cabbage Patch if there's That's tables fine. to get it? get a little charcuterie You've since we filled up on, on, on cheese all day you know get yes. some olives pickles things like that you know <clears throat> inside or out uh outside outside 
Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if there's seats. Hi, Wheeze. Done. One. Uh, a seat just opened up. You guys can go over. Zadar, clearly it's going to be uncomfortable for you. Uh, Camille. Why is it uncomfortable? Because I'm a tall no, oh. no, no mish size seating. Uh, Camille, you'll be fine out here. A waitress comes by. Uh, very nice, very chatty girl. Uh, 13 charisma. Uh, so she is favorable. Uh, asks what she can do for you guys. What do you want? Da, 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 da. Um, uh, we are looking for some drinks and maybe uh, just kind of like a, like a, a what they would call a yeah, snack, charcuterie, you know. Uh, there you go. Things, uh, things like she, that. She will suggest the Morris plate. Okay. Okay. Uh, because she looks at you guys and says, I assume you came from the festival. Uh, yes. yes. You yes, want the do. Morris plate. We appreciate that. <laughs> Would you like wine, ale, cider, or water? Wine. Well, wine. Wine, please. She brings the Morris plate to you, and you notice that there are a mixture of fruits on there. Uh, give me Arcana checks, both of you. Uh Uh, Arcana. Um, uh, okay. Twenty, not natural. Four. Uh, Camille won't care. Is it art? You notice that these fruits and vegetables seem to include uh something called blue java, uh, oh. and you are familiar that with this particular item when eaten uh when consumed appropriately it can uh get things yeah, clean, moving yeah. again uh so clearly your waitress knows what you will need uh, i will you, i will ahead. bring that up to kabil and i will say that portion of the fruit you might want to wait to have last <laughs> uh everybody constitution checks okay Ooh, that's funny. You really like the fruit plate. It's okay. So, uh, as you guys are eating this, you notice that the person dressed up as the cheese wheel is still dressed up as the cheese wheel. Uh, and they're kind of plodding along uh, towards the direction you were going, probably headed home for the night. Okay. Are they uh, staggering? Yeah. Nope. They are uh, just moving slowly. You know, they've got this heavy outfit on. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You notice three teens, three gnomish teens, uh, leave their position along the uh, wall of the river and begin to follow Mr. Cheese Wheel. Oh. Give me an insight check, both of you. Inside 16. 17. Yeah, Mr. Cheese Wheel's about to get rolled. Uh oh. Yeah. Should we should we intervene? Sure. Okay. So we'll we'll follow a little bit behind the teens. Sure. Mr. Cheese Wheel is moving along, plodding along slowly. Uh the three teens are starting to flank, flank, and dead center behind. Mm -hmm. Uh the kids on the side are kind of taunting the individual, and you see the one from behind run up quickly and try and give it the push over to start him rolling. Zadar dashes to intercept him. Initiative. <laughs> okay. Uh, that would be uh, 14. 18. Meal, you are up first. What would you like to do? So who am I fighting? Nobody yet. You notice the two of the teens are flanking Mr. Wheel of Cheese. Uh, the third one is going to run up behind and appear to shove Mr. Wheel down. 
Beta Camille, if we can block them, <laughs> web might be really good oh, to use on them. That's a good <laughs> idea. We'll do that. Now, keep in mind, they are in victory formation. So if you try and web mm. all three, you will web Mr. Wheel of Cheese as well. I don't care. I'm just letting you know. Collateral damage. Fair enough. We can cut him out. <laughs> 17. Oh, yeah. The web the web shoots out just as uh, Zadar starts to sprint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one doing the pushing got a one. The one on the right got a nat 20. Uh, so you caught Mr. Cheese Wheel, teen left, teen center. Uh, teen on the right spins around. Zadar, you are up. Okay. Uh, yeah. With that, uh, let's <coughs> see. Uh, da, da. Yeah, uh, Zadar breaks out his daggers and, yeah, uh, tries to slice his belt from around his waist. And try, I'm going to try to pants this kid. <laughs> okay. Be mindful of your role. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. You may it's a end risk. up gutting him. All right. Go ahead. All right. What do I have to roll? To hit or to, it just depends on what I roll, right? You're, you're trying to hit him. Be wary of doing too good a job or too bad of a job. Okay, so go ahead and use my dagger modifier and all that. Correct. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, 17 total. Sure. Uh, Good news. Uh, you slice his belt, down come the pants. Uh, give me an intimidation roll. Uh, yeah. And I'm a hot looking chick at this point, so <laughs> intimidation. Yeah, that's. Uh, let's see. Intimidation. What is my intimidation? Okay, 15. Uh, he takes off running, trips, pulls up his pants, and takes off running again. Uh, the other three, uh, you can hear the muffled voice of Mr. Cheese Wheel uh, shouting, but you cannot tell what they are saying. <laughs> the other two are yelling, uh, cut us loose right now or my father will have your heads. <laughs> Does your father know that uh, you're harassing uh, the Cheese Wheel's son? Doesn't matter. You don't know who my father is. Uh, do I really care? Probably not, but I'll cut Mr. Cheese out and just leave these two there. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cheese struggles to their feet, comes over, kind of lifts the cheese wheel up off their head, and it is a female. Ah, oh. okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I, I think those boys meant me harm. I believe they did. <laughs> so it was a pleasure to be of service. Uh, you know, I hope the rest of your trip home is a safe trip. Uh, Thank you. My name is Zadar, my friend, Camille. You don't have a business card you can give her? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, she heads off at a very fast pace. Uh, and disappears into the alleyway. Okay. Uh, did you want to finish your charcuterie plate or just head back to sleep? Uh, yeah. How long does web last? <laughs> I think like an hour. <laughs> I think it lasts a while. Yeah. And they, from their roles, they ain't getting out. Yeah. Especially, especially the one. Mm-hmm. Web lasts for an hour. Okay. As, yeah, as we're going to go back and have our cheese plate. <laughs> as, as long as Camille uh, maintains concentration, it will last for an hour. Yeah, uh, I cut I cut the cheese. I cut the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop the clock an hour and 44 minutes in. We finally got to cut the cheese joke. <laughs> so, so uh, 
it was a lovely young gnome and she thanked us and made her way home. Who are you telling that to? Uh, Camille. She was right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought she was. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, she but was, anyway. She was there, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Real, yeah. real life. I, 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 I thought you were bragging to the waitress or something. Trying no, to no, no, no. I, I tell Camille, let's go, go finish our our drinks and all that. Leave these, leave, leave these two assholes here. <laughs> uh, you see a couple of Warforged wander by. Okay. Continue to wander by. Apparently, uh, oh, they're well, not even phased by. Oh, two... well, spell is not what they are there for. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. They're not Robocop. Yeah. But it is interesting that they don't consider that an issue. Exactly. Uh, you guys finish your charcuterie plate and waitress comes by, asks you if there's anything else you would like. Uh no, no. It's been a lovely evening watching the sunset, enjoying our fruit plates, enjoying the wine. So I I think we're good. So well, head back yes uh yeah if yeah. the if the web two are still there i guess they're still we, there do we want to cut them loose or just let the spell run it run out its time yeah let's just let it run out yeah we're just gonna let the time run out <laughs> fair enough uh you notice that this bridge is dimly lit uh the glass globes are older uh, maybe they're mildewy, maybe they're just cloudy, uh, they, they've got glaucoma or something. Uh, but when you passed by the other bridge, it was very brightly lit. Uh, off in the distance up the hill, you can see the grand uh, or the great library, uh, and the walls are illuminated with floodlights. Uh, so it looks like something uh, on a skyscraper. Uh, but the incline in front completely empty except for a single statue so oh. other than that nobody's there earlier you might have noticed one or two people tomorrow it will be an entirely different thing uh as you head back i assume you're headed back to your place uh yes we're headed back to millie's uh as you pass by the gambling establishment and head to millie's here in the purple go ahead and give me a perception check both of you please 18. 19. Someone is lurking in the shadows. Oh dear. You feel eyes upon you. Uh, yeah. But you do not see anyone. Uh, there is maybe a drunk wandering by. Uh, other than that, everything here in this district is closed off. Uh, and Millie's door is unlocked. I say we could just go in. Yeah, yeah, we'll just head on in. Can we lock the door behind us? Well, she has the Warforged. That's true. Yeah. Uh, as you walk in, the Warforged is the only one there. Hmm. Oh. I say, uh, hola. <laughs> is Millie in for the evening? Millie is asleep. Mm, good uh, for her. Good for her. Um, Proceed to your room. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you guys head up to your room. Uh, you have been given a key. Uh, you can have room number set, or 12. Okay. Room 12, you go up the stairs, uh, a couple doors down to your right, you overlook the plaza. Go ahead and give me investigation checks. Oh, crap, five. Uh, 20, not natural. Both of you look out the area where you thought you were being watched. Don't notice anything. Nothing there. Now, you're on the second floor with a balcony, kind of a Howard Johnson's kind of <laughs> setup. Uh, yeah. you, you find room 12. Uh, room 12 has two single beds. Uh, oh, thank God. 
and it's comfortable. Well, okay. I well say these are we comfy. Lock yeah. the door and put a chair up under it. <laughs> a wedge. A wedge. Oh. wedge. Well, I could. I, I got the spell book. I could cast an alarm. Oh, that's good. Take about 10 minutes, but yeah, I can secure the door, take out a piece of silver wire, and uh, commit commence the ritual. So. Sure. Uh, after 10 minutes, the spell is firmly in place. Uh, the bed feels real good. You've been on the run most of the morning. It was uh. overcast. Uh, and you guys will fall asleep rather quickly. As you wake up the next morning, the alarm spell is still intact, uh, and the sun is filtering through the shutters on the window uh, because you're facing east, uh, and it is morning. We will go ahead and hold off there because otherwise we will run extremely long, uh, and I would assume some of our viewers may be Eagerly anticipating Critical Role, which yeah, episode one, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which that's what they're doing. As long as that's your thing, I'm fine with that. Uh, so, uh, David, what did you think about your first night or first day in Nathy Nathy and Nathy and Nathy and we're gonna call it that. Okay, Nathy and N A Y hyphen T H E E hyphen I N. Nathan. Okay. Nathan. Okay. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. it. It was fun being part of the cheese festival. Uh, I, I'm happy that we met two little mini Mortimers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got to we got to squash some teen hijinks. <laughs> so what's not to like? Yeah. You know, it, it could have been messy. Uh, wait till you find out who Miss Cheese Wheel was. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? Hmm. Uh, not including my lack of uh, mongering information. Oh no, you did. You did pretty good. That was good. I uh, didn't know you knew so much about cheese, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I love cheese. He loves that shit. Um. You got coffee. You got coffee beans. You got oh, yeah. cheese. We got cheese. We got all kinds of freebies, man. Yeah. So we're we're good. I guess i just wanted to murder people about cheese <laughs> i really did i really wanted to murder the bad people about cheese which bad people <laughs> uh even your insight rule said this is a nice person i know yeah yeah i know so either your insight rules were not high enough or this is truly an osmond mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not going to go there. So anyway, I had a good there, time. <clears throat> I liked it. There you go. Folks, uh, this has been uh, Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. We hope you liked it as much as they did. Uh, tune in again Sunday uh, for the Tri-Generational Campaign. The Margu guys are going to go at it. They got their shit kicked in last Those weekend. Poor guys. Uh, and I anticipate them getting their shit kicked in again this Sunday. Uh, please tune in right around 4.15 ish. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool stuff, it's down below. Uh, don't forget, if you need some custom made dice, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, check them out. They will give you an answer whether they're uh, willing to do it or not. And don't forget, uh, if your game stinks unlike ours, try some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com, makers of the Shine System, as well as how to RPG with your cats. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we hope to see you on Sunday. Day game, kiss, and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>